Wanafunzi hadi sasa wanaendelea kuona mchongoma baada ya serikali kusitisha masomo hadi mwaka uja kufuatia janga la virusi vya corona. Lakini huku wanafunzi wakiendelea kukaa nyumbani, maswali chungu nzima yanazidi kuchipuka kuhusu fedha za wanafunzi, hasa msaada wa karwali maarufu basari, zinazo otolewa na wabunge. Baadhi ya wabunge sasa wanapendekeza fedha hizo, kugeuzwa na kutumika katika shughuli zingine. No, I mean bursaries. I saw uh, Mwishmiwa Raymond Moy saying that, you know, it can this money for CDF that is meant for bursaries that are not utilized be used to improve the infrastructure in schools. We will need more classrooms so that we can social distance. Corona is not going to go away very soon. The same way we as Ngaf, we have some money. A lot of women are suffering economically. So can we try and uh, use that money and put transfer it to another vote? Well, for, for you know, there are constituencies that had already given bursaries. But for monies that the areas that are not given bursaries, I believe uh, there should not even be debate about it. It should be converted immediately to infrastructure. Kwa sababu unajua Raymond ni mutu ambaye mezaliwa na blue band. Ukimuambia mambo ya shida ni kama unamusumbua. Ailewi shida ni mimi. Alizaliwa kama blue band kwa mdomo. Mbungi wa suba North Milio Diambo, ena mwenzaki wa Nairobi ya Stapasari zona sema kuwa, itakuwa bora iwa hapo fedha hizo, zitatumika kwa nyashugli za kuwafaidi wa Kenya, wakati wa janga la corona. Because one of the challenges that we are going to face when uh, uh, schools reopen is the issue of distancing. So it will either mean our children study out or we have more classes. So not only should the CDA put that, but I would want to also encourage that the government must prioritize money to schools. You know, and right now funerals, there's a lot of people asking for help for funerals. You know, they want coffins, they want transport. You know, most of my constituents are, are actually taking their bodies out of Nairobi. They don't have the money. So we need to find a way to, to be able to cushion them with this money. So I hope that we can have those interventions, even rent. Aida Mbungi wa Saboti Kaliba Amisi, anau mtaza motofauti. Ni kwamba ule mtoto ambaye amelipiwa school fees hii mwaka wacha ikae kwa shule iaccumulate mwaka ijayo wakimuongezea itaweza kulipa karo ya shule ya hiyo mtoto E, kiwango kikubwa yeye anasema kuwa e, ni kinyume na sheria kuchukua fedha za shule kutumiwa kwenye shughuli zizoambatana na elimu uh, education ya fund ya, ya CDF iruhusu kubadilisha ni lazima ikuje kwa bunge na ikikuja kwa bunge tutakataa kwa sababu ni lazima wanafunzi wapate fedha za kwenda shule si ati tumekataa masomo forever corona ijesimamisha masomo ati sasa wanafunzi watakuwa sasa kwa street hawaendi shule te. hata ukisema hizo fedha zijenge darasa na january wakuje wanafunzi hawana school fees hizo madarasa zitatumikwa na nani zikae huko wanafunzi waikuja january ni kusoma tu school fees imelipiwa E, kila mwaka wabunge upokea mamilioni ya pesa e, kwa fadhili wanafunzi wasiojiweza lakini mwaka huu e, tanda abelweli wango kia wanafunzi baada ya janga la corona kubisha. E, licha serikali kutangaza kufungua shule mwezi wa januari mwaka ujao visa vya maambukizi vya corona vijelegeza kamba kwa maambukizi e, hali ambayo uenda ikawa tatizo kubwa iwapo maambukizi ya tandelea hadi mwaka ujao. Nikiripoti ya mwanga wa Ebro jina langu ni Jeff Haemba